Hey everyone, I'm Mary Ellen. I also go by Melon, like on my shirt, and I work for the Girl Scouts, and I'm out here studying my spring garden, and I'm with my dad, oh, and my dogs. <laughs> Say hi, Dad. Hello. Who do we got here? It's Jack Jack. Jack Jack. Say hi, Jack Jack. <laughs> and and Cusco. Cusco's somewhere, oh, here's Cusco. Here's Cusco, they're pretty good buds. <laughs> So today we're gonna to be starting our garden. We have our lovely planter box here. We have already um, broken up the soil. We tilled the soil by shoveling it, turning it over, making it so that it's nice and loose. And we added some extra good fertile soil. So if you're wondering why we did that, we did that because plants grow roots, right? And the roots need to get into the soil and we wanna make it as easy as it is as easy as it can be for them to grow. So we made sure the soil is loose so that the roots can dig in really easily. And then they can absorb all the really nutrient rich soil that we have here. So my dad's over here just leveling up the planter box. And we're today gonna plant some seedlings and some seeds. So, oh, the dogs see something. So we have some seedlings over here. So seedlings, are plants that are already started. So someone already put the seed in the ground in a, um, in a greenhouse. So that's like a really warm glass building that um, is really warm for the plants so they really like it. There's really nutrient rich soil there and um, there's lots of light and people are checking on them all the time. So we got this tomato plant that's already a seedling um, and we wanted that because we wanted to put it right into our garden right now and have tomatoes pretty soon. So we got one that was already started. So here we have an heirloom tomato. So those are big, round, really juicy, yummy tomatoes. They're my favorite. And then we also have cherry tomatoes. Dad, what's your favorite kind of tomato? Cherry tomato, cherry, sweet 100s <laughs> to be specific. So over here we have sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. So my dad's gonna be pretty excited for these. Today we're also gonna plant some strawberries. So we have some strawberry seedlings right here. Oh, these are the carrots. These are the carrot seedlings. So we're gonna plant some carrot seedlings. Usually you just plant those as carrot seeds, not as seedlings, but we saw them and they looked really yummy. And then over here are the strawberries we're gonna plant. We're actually gonna put them in this nice pot because they kind of like to take over and we don't want it to take over our garden. And then after that, we're gonna plant some seeds. So we got some corn seeds right here. They look a lot like popcorn before it pops. So we're gonna plant those and get some nice tall corn stalks and then some carrot seeds. So carrot seeds are actually very tiny, they look like this. And we're gonna plant those too. All right, is the garden ready to go, Dad? It's all ready. All right, so we're gonna use our tools to plant, dig little holes to put our seedlings in. So I have a spade. This is the small hand shovel that we're gonna use. So first, we are gonna plant our tomato plant. So I'm gonna put it about right here. So I'm gonna go grab it. So we're gonna plant our heirloom tomato first. This one. All right, do you mind holding the camera for me, Dad? Thank you. Perfect. All right, so I'm just gonna dig a little hole right here. Just big enough for the tomato plant. There we go, and I'm gonna take the tomato, I'm just gonna kind of Gently get all the soil out. Plop it in without keeping the roots in the sun for too long because I don't want it. The roots don't like sun, they like soil. I pack in the dirt around it. There we go, we got our first tomato plant. We're gonna put the little label on it so we remember. Now we're gonna plant a couple more. So let's plant our cherry tomato. That's this one, the sweet 100. So this is my dad's favorite. I'll let him plant this one. You want to come over here and plant it? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, getting it all ready. Tomato plants like to be planted really far away from each other because they grow really big and bushy. And the reason plants grow big is so that they can get their leaves out in the sunlight so that they get lots of sun nutrients. And what I was doing there is I was making a deep hole that goes all the way into the soot soil a foot deeper so that the tap root for the tomato goes down as far as it goes tall 
Yeah, they like to have really deep roots. It's the tomato plant's five feet tall, that root was five feet down, so I started the first foot with this. Makes it real easy for the root to go through. Awesome. All right, now we are gonna plant our cucumbers. I don't think I showed you these, but we're planting lemon cucumbers. They taste just like regular cucumbers, but they grow like the shape and size and color of, of lemons, and you eat them like an apple, and I love them. So we're gonna plant the first one. We're gonna plant, there's, it looks like one plant, but there's actually little separate plants in here. So my dad's gonna plant them right here. Okay, first so. you gotta crinkle it to get the roots loose from the side. Turn it upside down and make sure you're in the shade. So I'm gonna it's face cold. it away from the sun and you pull off just one at a time or two at a time. We're gonna plant three here, so I'm gonna pull off three of them at one time. So you're trying to be really quick so that the roots so, don't get too much sun. So let's do it like this. Now I break it in half again. You feel the roots so you kind of jiggle as you go. And here you plant them in mounds of three. That's how cucumbers are planted. So, put those three there. And over here, we're gonna put another three. And then I'll cover there. them up for him. And then that's how you plant cucumbers, three, three an inch and a half apart, so that they have vines, and if two of them die, one still grows. And if three of them grow, then they still produce at a pretty high rate. Is that one by itself? Mm -hmm. So we do not have enough cucumbers to do all of this. So I'm gonna plant two of them over here. So we got our two cucumbers here. I'm gonna put the little label in. And then he's finishing up the last cucumber. And now we're just gonna plant a couple seeds. And then I'm gonna give you some ideas for starting a garden at home. So let's do some corn seeds. Does that sound good to you, Dad? We have to come to a consensus on the garden since this is a shared garden, so we have to make our decisions together. Corn is my favorite. Corn is his favorite, after after cucumbers. Corn, corn, my favorite to watch grow because it grows knee high by 4th of July. <laughs> knee high by 4th of July. All right, <laughs> let's plant a couple around here. So corn, since we've just got little seeds, we can just poke the holes with our fingers. We don't even need to use the tool. Oh, he likes using the back of the tool. Let me come show you. I just place them right in the hole. Just one seed will do it. Right there. And we'll go back and cover them up. All right. So with these, we need to have three in a row. And the way we do that, we put the first row every six inches apart, like this. And then we'll come back and give every six inches apart, staggering the rows so that we have enough. I love planting seeds because right now they're just little seeds in the ground. You just cover them up and they don't look like they're going to be anything. But pretty soon when we check back next week or the week after or the week after, we'll see them start to grow. All right. So if you really want to start your own garden, I'm going to give you some ideas. So we actually already planted some cilantro and basil right here. We transplanted it as seedlings, so we just did that this morning. So here's some cilantro, here's some basil, and these are herbs. And a lot of people have really fun windowsill herb gardens. So that means they have it on like a kitchen windowsill and they keep it in little containers about this big, like the size of a, a large yogurt container, and they plant all sorts of herbs. And they'll grow their whole life indoors in those little pots. And you can trim them off whenever you're cooking and you want some basil or you want some oregano or some, some cilantro and it makes your food really yummy. And it's really cool. You can grow it right inside your home if that's what you wanna do. And you could get those seeds at the store. Or if you want to make, um, start a garden with things that you might already have in your home, you can take an avocado pit and you can put it in a little bit of water and pretty soon it'll start sprouting little roots. And what's the best thing to do once it starts sprouting roots, Dad? Then you watch the roots grow, and when they get almost as long as the plant, it's ready to put in soil. Yeah. It grows, grows real fast. Yeah, so you get it started inside, kind of like what people do at greenhouses. And, um, and you just get it growing, and then you can um, transplant it somewhere outside if you get permission, or you could just do it, use it as a little experiment to see if it grows. What else might you be able to try with things in your house? Maybe you can try seeing if you can get a potato to sprout. 
um, little roots off of it. Potatoes do that a lot. You can even do it with celery. You can use the top of celery and put it in some water and see if it starts growing roots. So I encourage you to experiment, see if you can get something growing in your house. Maybe um, even start a little windowsill herb garden, or um, if you want to and are able to, you could even start one outdoors like we are in a little planter box. So it was really fun having you here. I hope that you check out our other videos on our channel. We have all sorts of things that you can do. You could also go to our website, girlscoutshcc.org, and you can learn about a ton of fun things you can do online with Girl Scouts. And it's all really awesome. And you'll see me in some of the videos too. And then I'll be back next week at 10 a.m. also, and we'll be doing more gardening. I have a carrot from last winter that is almost ready to get pulled out. So we'll be doing that next week. And in the meantime, we're gonna water our garden and we're gonna pull out any weeds that grow and we're gonna take care of these plants. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>